this this is gonna get a lot of heat. I hate business cards, and you don't like business cards oh, either. Yes, yes. So let's talk about that really quickly, and just let you guys know why we don't like business cards. Yes, don't like business cards because people just throw them out. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of your of your business investment money. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 31 of Rookie Mondays. Today, we're going to continue with our entrepreneurship breakdown. And today's agenda is to talk about building an effective team, how to plan efficiently in your business, as well as how to network. Because there's a lot of tips that you need on networking because you know your network is your network. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, so I think the first thing when it comes to building a team is understanding the value that you yourself could provide to a team, right? Because at the end of the day, when you're building a business, you can't do it by yourself, right? Like we know in sports, you can't win a championship by yourself. The big three era with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, all that, that's a part of the same thing when it comes to actually running a business. So what I mean by this is, if I am running a business with Terrell right now, right, if I know I could provide monetary value and that's the only thing I have to offer, sure, that's my value. But if I know I'm really, really organized and I can do that well, boom. That's what I bring to the table, and now he has to actually complement that. That's what business is about. You have to bring something to the table, and your partner has to bring something to the table that you're not good at. You see what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. And I think a lot of people like to get in business with their friends. Like, So I know y'all might see, like, oh, you guys are friends. That's why you got in business. That is not why I got in business with Nooski. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that right now. I got in business with him because I felt like he was somebody to be in business with. So what I did, and what everybody should do, I mentioned this on Instagram, is to write out all the qualities of a successful business owner. Right, you want to see like what are the qualities they need to be organized, they need to know how to network, they need to, everything we're going to tell you about a successful business owner needs to have. And the things that you lack, make sure you get a partner who can fill in those gaps. That's a fact, you know. So make sure you're actually looking at their character. Like, I've seen a lot of businesses break a lot of friendships up. Yeah, know? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'll be very honest, I've started multiple businesses in the past and they haven't worked out to the best of their ability, right? Because I let friendship get in the way of that. But then I learned that and I applied it here. Right now, for example, you guys know we taught at schools, we taught at colleges, et cetera, et cetera. Rel is the one who put me on to how to be a good teacher, right? Like he broke down how you speak to audiences, he broke down how you speak to students, because that's not my profession. But now that I learned that, I'm able to apply it, right? For me, I'm really good at staying organized in certain areas because I've actually worked on those tools, right? Worked with tools that let me automate things. So I bring that to the table. So we're like balancing each other in that aspect. So that's when it comes to building a team. I need y'all to understand that. But let's move on to the next topic, right? Planning. Can you explain why planning is important? Planning is important, everybody, because at the end of the day, that's what's going to help your business operate efficiently. I see a lot of businesses that are not operating efficiently because they fail to plan. But well, they say, like, uh, failing to plan is planning plan to, to fail. fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm So you need to, like, actually have tools in order. Don't just plan necessarily off the top of your head. Like, you literally need to put this on paper. Put this in technology. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm excited about the stuff you want to bring to them yeah, right now. Like, talk about some of the things that they could implement into their business. Before I even do that, right, I'm just thinking about an analogy right now. For people who are sports fans, think about it. You have to study a playbook, right, before you go into the game. You have coaches and scouts doing all that work for you guys to prepare for the competition. They're planning stuff out. Like the greatest coaches, like Bill Belichick for football, right? There's a plan that him and his coaching staff bring to the players. It's the same thing when it comes to business. You got to plan, right? Some tools that you could use to actually plan stuff out are Trello and Monday.com. We are not sponsored by these people, and we're still telling you guys to use these tools. So, for example, Trello, right? We use this on our business right now. Essentially, it's a project management tool. It breaks down tasks that you have to do into, like, this is to do, this is in progress, this is completed, et cetera, et cetera. But then you can actually assign these tasks to the people on your team. So when we work with different people, right, it'll be like, yo, I know I have to do this task, so I'll assign it to myself. Rel has to do that, you know, X, Y, Z task, and you could put a date on those tasks as well. So it's like, say that September 1st when something is due, he will get a notification that, yo, new has to do this by the first, and he'll stay on top of me. Or I'll be like, yo, he has something coming, I'll stay on top of him. So make sure you're automating everything when it comes to your business and especially planning we have sessions that we literally plan stuff before we come to you guys so planning is everything when it comes to business literally literally that is the oil to the car right yeah, that, yeah. that's that's what you need to keep running Ultimately. i would even sorry i would even say this like google like google yeah. suites is another one right so yeah. google docs you guys can share documents right google sheets if you're building an excel file there, Google slides we use all this when we're going to pitch to schools and colleges because we're like yo if i'm working on something he should be able to see it and vice versa. And and I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sick of seeing businesses, especially small businesses, 
who they're not on top of things. Like it's a turn off. Y'all know what it is. Like, it's not say, professional. It's just not professional. Nobody's gonna invest in your business. You're never gonna grow unless you get this down packed. Mm-hmm. This is arguably the most important point. Make sure that you guys are organized as a business so people can actually see like, okay, they're taking this seriously. That's don't say that. you're gonna be somewhere at four and don't come at four. I hate, yo, especially for my people of color, right? Especially for my people of color. This is very important for y'all. Like people yeah. already expect us to be late everywhere. Right. So if you could be on time, and I'm not, okay, event is at four, don't be there at four. You should be there at 345 so you already know that you're breathing calmly, right? You're dressed for the occasion. Something goes wrong, prepare for traffic, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Plan for it. Also, I think I really want to mention this. Google Suites is free. Trello is free. So there's no reason for you guys not to be organized. And if you guys don't want to pay for stuff in your business, just stop being in business, right? At the end of the day, you're not investing in yourself and you're not going to be able to scale. Definitely, definitely. It's not just about investing in stocks like we talked about. You got to invest in your business. You got to have a set amount of money per month that you're going to invest into your business. Okay. Now, let's transition, right? Let's let's start talking about the networking piece. Yep. Because this, this is very important. So, as we know, your networking is what's really propel your business because you can do as much as you want, but things are better done in collaboration. Mm-hmm. So, when you meet somebody, you need to have an elevator pitch. So, you want to explain to people exactly what an elevator pitch is? Yeah. So, shout out to Pollyanna right now because she's my mentor who really put me on the game here. But elevator pitch is really what it sounds like when you're in an elevator, right? It's like a 15 second type of window where you have a chance to meet someone and pitch them on what you do as a business owner or what you do as an individual. So literally it's just a really, really quick pitch on describing what you're about, what your business is about to understand and help people get the flow of what you do. Very Mm -hmm. simple. Very simple, very simple. So make sure you have that in order. And I feel like we should do a live one for them. Yeah, now I'm down. I, I was not expecting it, but I'm down. <laughs> Mad pressure. <laughs> Mad pressure. Facts. Let's do this right on camera. So, like, uh, I'll, I'll start it. I I'll bet. So, let's second. just say that we ran into each other, right, at a networking event. And I was like, yo, what's your name, bro? Um, my name is Rel. Okay, cool. My name is Nooski. Can you please tell me what you do? Yeah, yeah. So, I run a company called Bag Talk, right? So, I'm a co-founder with my partner, Nooski. So, Bag Talk is a financial media platform and our mission is to get out financial education to the masses especially youth especially people from disadvantaged communities so we started in colleges we started in high schools we were providing this education to people on the stock market crypto market credit real estate everything that you need to do to build your personal finance and to build generational wealth for your family that's what we do and now we just transition into the social media platforms um in 2022 so we're just here to expand See, if you think about that now, I understand what that talk is, right? I understand he's a co-founder, and that gives him credibility right off the bat. So it's really, really cool that this is happening. And on top of that, I understand that it's financial literacy focused. That's the whole point of an elevator pitch. You want to make sure you're getting it in a small window. I'm not saying it got to be 15 seconds, but it shouldn't be like two minutes long either. Right, exactly, exactly. And do you want to do one? Yeah, I got you. All right, so <laughs> the same thing, same scenario? Yeah, try it, try it. All right, so basically I would say... Um, you want to start a timer yeah, on it? Like, all right, bet. All right, so first of all, what is Bad Talk? All right, so Bad Talk is a financial literacy platform where we focus on youth and young adults, right? Our whole focus is to provide back by giving financial literacy education to people of color, people who are young between the ages of 18 to 40. And since we've already taught at schools and colleges right now, we're now focusing on the YouTube platform, the social media platforms such as podcasting to let other audiences know what we're about. So we don't just teach about stocks, crypto, real estate. We actually give a broader focus on what financial literacy is and how it could be fun to be in finance. That was amazing. That was amazing. I was right outside of the dome. <laughs> I'm impressed. I might get DSP, a shout out. I might get a business to you. I don't know. I'll call you. Again. Where's that check at? Write that check. <laughs> real life. Real life. So, but it's important to have that. Make sure you have that in order. And then let's give them some other networking tips. Because mm-hmm. like we said, this is networking is the heart of your business. Yeah. Heart yeah. Of business. All right. So I would just start with this, right? At the end of the day, look, it's, it's very, very difficult when you're first networking and you go to these large events, right? So we just went to Invest Fest mm-hmm. and basically 12,000 people are there. You have to be really, really smart when it comes to networking and pick who you want to talk to. You're not going to be able to talk to every person in the room. Just right. not possible. So my, my guys out there, listen, when you go to a club, you pick the baddest girl to talk to, right? At the end of the day. Let's just be honest here. Am I lying? Well, like, come on, bro. Well, you, you pick the baddest girl to talk to. So, which, which is funny, by the way, because uh, Hodge commented on our, on our video saying, like, yo, you guys always, like, give analogies with girls. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm doing this again. But basically, go. think about it. When you walk into the club, talk to the baddest girl. When you walk into a networking event, you already have to know who is going to be there. You have to know what they're about, and then you target that individual. So, for example, when we're teaching financial literacy, when we go to networking events, 
We're trying to meet with educators. We're trying to meet people who are popular on social media. And we're trying to meet with people who can connect us to educators. We already know our focus, so we know who we want to talk to. We're not going to talk to everyone, but we know who we want to talk to, and we target them. That's what y'all have to do. Yeah, most definitely. And then also, when you actually greet these people, one thing you can do to break the ice is start with a compliment. Compliment something that they're wearing or something. Just, I just love that one. You know what I mean? Just to, just to break ice. And then when the ice is broken and they ask you what you do and you're giving that elevator pitch, make sure you're making eye contact. Extremely important. You have to look like you're confident in what, you're, what you do. If you don't look like you believe in your business, you think they're going to believe in your business? That's a fact. You know what I mean? You, you, you have to. So if you have trouble with that, my advice to you is to do something called fake it so you make it. Right. So picture your, like your most favorite CEO. Who's your favorite CEO? Whoever it is. How would they operate if somebody asked them what their business is? Mm-hmm. So let's say your favorite CEO was, was Tim Cook you know, of Apple, right? And if you met Tim Cook, you say, yo, what's Apple about? You think Tim Cook is going to look away, not make eye contact? Be like, I mean, we kind of have like phones. You can't and, be like... shy. You cannot be shy. You'll be confident. It's your <laughs> you business, your baby. Exactly. You see what I mean? So, so extremely important is how you carry yourself, how you speak about your business. Even if you're small, you have to be a big business owner while you're a small business owner. Yeah. Okay. Don't let that go yet. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I, I agree. And just talk slowly. Like that's that's the biggest thing. If you're nervous, everyone knows you're nervous. Everyone yeah. does not want to be. Actually, no one, to be honest, really wants to be a networking man on like a random day. Everyone is all there because they're trying to meet people. So it's okay. Just go up to someone, introduce yourself, talk slowly, and you'll be good. Also, yes. this this is gonna get a lot of heat. I hate business cards, and you don't like business cards oh either. Gosh, yes. So let's talk about that really quickly, and just let you guys know why we don't like business cards. Yes, don't like business cards because people just throw them out. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of your of your business investment money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if anything, it's better to make like you said, hand in hand shakes, eye contact, make these real genuine connections. And that way, when you guys exchange numbers, it actually means something. They actually yeah. know who you are. Yeah. You know, so we, we had something called the dot card. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're not sponsored by them either. But it's literally a card where it's, it's a really quick transaction. Mm-hmm. You literally put the card, you tap it on somebody's phone, and your entire contact information goes there. Your Instagram goes there, your, your, your contact number, your phone number, email, mm-hmm. everything. All in one spot. By just a tap of a card on somebody's phone. Yeah. Easy, right? You got to update with the times. It's a technology-driven society, right? Yeah. So you, you have to be on top of that for a fact. And I think the biggest thing with business cards, once again, if you are actually giving business cards to everyone, you're not targeting. So remember our first tip, target who you want to talk to, go up to them, introduce yourself, talk slowly, and then you're going to make an actual connection. So you're going to be good to go. Yes. And also, 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 when people look you up, you have to make sure what they see is upstanding Mm -hmm. all right so people can type your name in look for your socials you have to make sure that you're representing yourself properly on social media online whatever your website is everything it has to be in order organized planned and and very neat okay once again that really really applies to my people of color right now y'all have to be organized y'all have to be professional because people are already looking at us like we're messed up individuals Uh right we're as i said already we're expected to be late we're expected to be unprofessional so once again, a girl analogy, right? If a guy is short and all this stuff, no one's going to care about him. Let's be honest, right? He's short, skinny, stinks, all that now. Nah. But if you, you know, well-maintained, people are going to look at you differently. So that's, yeah. what, that's what it comes down to. But do you have any other tips? I got one more. Right, I go got ahead. one more. It's very important. Make sure you follow up. You talk about networking. That's Most sales people, too, by Exactly. The way. First of all, for sales, definitely. But even just for networking, make sure you're following up. You're making these connections at the event. After the event, you have to, let's say, write all your names down that you connected with. We we literally did all this. Exactly. We have a whole list of everybody we connected with, and we're reaching out to them at different times and organizing based on that. So follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Yeah, and also to that one, I was going to add to it, always, as soon as you connect with someone, right, and you know you want to follow up with them, always write a little note on top of what they did and who they are and how you met them. So when you follow up with them, you can make that connection. It's not just a regular, hey, X, Y, Z, I met you here, and I hope to see you again. No, it's, hey, X, Y, Z, hope you're doing well. I met you here. We talked about this. I love that you gave me knowledge on X, Y, Z topic. Can we please discuss this in further detail? You see how both of them are basically the same thing, but one sounds way better than the other. And last thing I would add to that is just make sure you're adding value. Okay, don't just ask to pick somebody's brain. Never say that. Yeah, for real. Never say that phrase. You have to add value first. You're going to get a return on that investment, but add value first. That's all I'll say. That's a fact. So we just gave you guys a bunch of gems, honestly. Yes. A lot of gems were just given to you guys. But just a quick recap, right? Always make sure you're organized. Make sure you're building a team that you can actually bring value to, and they bring value to the table as well. And then obviously network your butt off because that's how you are successful in business. Hopefully you like this video right now. We got a dope video you guys coming for Wednesday, so oh, I'm yeah. excited for that. But make mm-hmm. sure you like 
comment, and subscribe to the channel. Plus, hit that little notification bell because we drop two videos a week. And you don't want to miss them. We appreciate you. Peace. Peace. Soundstripe.